a job for Donald in Douglas. Illustrated by Neil Harding, written by Brenda Oxley. Donald and Douglas were twin engine. One day, the fat controller came to see them. I want one of you to go to the yard, he said. I will go, said Donald. Please send me. No, I will go, said Douglas. Send me. I can go faster, said Donald. Send me. No, I can go faster, said Douglas. Please send me, said Donald and Douglas. Me, me, he said, send me. Please be quiet, said the fat controller. Hmm, who will I send, he said to Thomas. I know who to send, said Thomas. Is it me? Is it me? said Donald and Douglas. No. Is it not you? said Thomas. It is me. I am fast. I am quick. Send me to the yard. I will, said the fat controller. Off you go, Thomas. Thomas and the Beast Thomas had two coaches called Annie and Clarabelle. He liked them to go as fast as they could. You are too slow, Annie, said Thomas. Faster! I'm going as fast as I can, said Annie. Hurry, Clarabelle, said Thomas. Faster, faster! I'm going as fast as I can, said Clarabelle. Some bees flew near Annie and Clarabelle. They went as fast as they could go. You are too slow, Thomas, said Annie. Go faster, Thomas! Go faster, Thomas, said Clarabelle. Thomas went as fast as he could go. Now he was pleased. Beep, he said. I do like the beep. Before and the Bonfire Illustrated by Neil Harding Written by Brenda Upsley Thomas and Trevor were really useful engines. One day, the fat controller went to see them. We are going to make a bonfire, he said. I will bring the boys and girls, said Thomas. First, we must make a fire, said fat controller. Who can pull the legs of wood? Not me, said Thomas. I can't pull the logs. But I can, said Trevor. I can pull logs. <coughs> Who can sew the logs, said the fat controller. Not me, said Thomas. I can't sew logs. But I can, said Trevor. I can sew lugs. Trevor worked hard pulling and sewing lugs. The men worked hard making a big bonfire. <coughs> you are really useful, Trevor, said the fat controller. Nearly as useful as me, said Thomas. Take it, Thomas. Happy Birthday, Thomas! Based on the Railway Series by the Reeve W. Audrey Illustrated by Owen Bell Beep beep! Here comes Thomas the Tank Engine Thomas and his friends work hard every day Thomas does not want to work today 
It is his birthday. He wants a party with presents, balloons, and silly hats. But Sir Topham Hat says Henry is busy. Gordon is busy. James is busy. You must work today, Thomas. So off Thomas goes to his brunch line. Back and forth, back and forth. He carries people. He carries animals. He carries wood. He carries green. Thomas sees his friends near the engine shed. No one says happy birthday. No one says a word about presents, balloons, or silly hats. At the end of the day, Thomas heads home. Thomas' engine did not look so busy to me. Oh no, a cow is in the way. No, says Thomas. No, says the cow. No, 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 says Thomas. Not move, move. At last, the cow moves. Thomas is late. Thomas is tired. Some birthday. Sir Topham Hat opens the doors to the dark shape. Thomas jumps inside. Let's come on. Surprise! See all Thomas' friends. We were busy, says Henry. We were busy making a party for you, says James. It is a wonderful party. There are presents, balloons, and silly hats to wear. Happy birthday, Thomas! Please subscribe to our channel for more videos to read aloud.